hello friends welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to upload a file using jquery and ajax in php okay in recent videos we have um, learned how to upload file using php so let's get started first we need to create a folder okay uh, ajax file upload okay and uh, and just you need to check the file uh, folder permission so you need to give read and write permission okay and under this you need to create one more folder uploads where the file will go okay in this you also need to give the permission read and write okay and just open this in sublime text editor ajax file upload and here we will create a new file uh, index.php here we will write the html code php file upload upload using jquery and ajax okay and uh, in under this on body tag we need to write the form okay so actually i have uh, done this in PHP file uploading okay so I'm just copy paste the form okay this will save our time where we will do the form with action action will be empty and uh, here method will be the post this is important and ink type will be the multi-power part and form data okay this is important and here label name and select file that's it okay so our form is done and uh, we need to add jquery okay and you can add the jquery using jquery cdn okay and uh, you just need to add the version three version and just copy this and paste here okay and uh, after that you need to add the jquery code and uh, jquery code start with the document dot ready sorry ready function and in function you just select alert hi okay to check that our jquery working or not jax file upload okay here you can see alert message is showing that's when our jquery is working so you need to write the ajax function okay so before that uh, here we will give the id form id okay upload form upload form and uh, dollar form with id upload form dot submit function and in submit we will write the code okay and uh, we will write the ajax dollar dollar dot ajax and in ajax there you need to write the type and here we will send the data using post method type and url and data okay the url will be upload dot php and data will be form data okay and you need to write the success method get all the field values in a variable okay variable form data okay new with the new keyword form data okay and under this you will get all the variable okay so to check that our code is working we will add the console log okay to print the result okay and uh, we have given the upload path single quote or double quote okay mm, we need to create one more file upload.php okay upload.php and here we will add our php code and to check that we are getting the all the variable or not we just print out okay print our dollar underscore post okay 
actually we are passing uh, through post method so all the variable will come in post so to check just go in browser and here we will give the name j and just click the inspect button and in console you will see the <laughs> the result okay so when you hit upload button you can see the form is submitting like uh, PHP okay so you can see there's no console data so you need to add a function here we will give a parameter e and e dot prevent default okay so this will prevent the form submission using action like uh, in php uh, you did okay so just in the in browser you can see j j y and just select a file and you can see form data is not a constructor you need to add three more variables like uh, cache will be false and process data will be false and content type will be false okay so when you uh, click when you submit uh, name and file you can see this name is so so dollar name will be dollar underscore post and here name okay and uh, to get the file dollar file maybe you can get the file name using dollar underscore files up, uh, the upload file and name okay so just refresh so just refresh the page and just type the name and select a file and just hit upload you can see the image name is we are getting okay so after that all the code i have done in the previous video in upload file okay so just copy paste this code dollar here will be zero and name will be name just remove this one and upload file yes so all the code will be same okay so here we will get the name and upload directory will be uploads and file name we can get using the name key okay and temporary file name target file will be the target directory and file name and we can get the extension by excluding the file name and get the by using end function we will get the file extension okay here i have uh, told the two ways to get the file extension here second way okay by using path info function we will get the target file and path info extension here we will get the file size okay and if you want to change the file name then you can just add a time function or anything you want give that okay file with the dot file extension and if file is jpg or jpeg then this will upload okay so and if file size uh, is greater than 500 kb okay then there will show the error okay so this will allow the less than 500 kb file size okay and if error is zero then we will move the file so here uh, in last video i have added the uh, file information in database so just remove this one okay so we need to pass actually uh, here pass go and file uploaded loaded success fully okay just save this and let's check 
so just hit the upload button and here saying only allowed 500 kb file size okay so just select the another file size and uh, this is the jpg okay so when you hit there you can see file upload successfully message showing and in upload directory you can see the file is uploaded successfully okay so this is the way you can just upload the uh, file without refresh the page okay so i hope you can understand the way we did so thank you for watching the video welcome back